hello friends this is jagbir singh and today we are going to start a complete tutorial series for solid works so in this first video we will be discussing about all the aspects and the tools of sketching in the coming videos we will discuss about entire solid works course so uh, you kindly subscribe my channel so that you can get every video so let's uh, start with the sketching part so i am just taking a new file here now i'm choosing part now uh, there are different different tabs here so you first have to go to sketch then you will see there is no uh, default plane available here right now which is shown to me so to make them visualize you just go to your plane default planes are there but the moment i bring out my uh, cursor these are no more uh, visible to me so to make them visible you have to right click and you hit this particular icon so that now now my front plane is available to me the same way you can use for other planes so now if i have to start my sketching then i have to first tell the software that on which reference plane i want to start my sketch so for example i want to start sketch on my front plane then select the plane and go for sketch in sketch there you will find two options sketch 3d sketch or 3d sketch on a plane it is more or less the same thing when you have to create a sketch which comes and utilize all three available plane and it also involves x y and z coordinates then you have to go for 3d sketch but as of now we are going to use a sketch so the moment you hit, uh, you select sketch now your plane has been perpendicular to your screen now first tool is my line you will see there is a small arrow next to your line tool which shows that there are there is one more option which is center line so line and center line are different that means center line just is a reference line which help us to create things which are centric or something like that i will show you how to use the center line first if you have to uh, draw a line then choose line tool and now you can give a first point second point it will be continuous until or unless you exit to exit right click and select now your line is there so let's just hide this plane so that you can have a better view now this is my line when i select this line you will see there is a property dialog box come on to the left so it is showing no existing uh, relations so that means it is not related to any other entity with some constraint so what are the relations i can apply on to this i can make it horizontal i can make it vertical i can fix it after that you can even change its parameters now the length is 71.93 something and it is at angle this one so i just want to make it horizontal then hit horizontal then you will see that particular segment is horizontal and there is this green signal here which shows that this line is particularly horizontal so now it is having one relation that it is being constrained to be horizontal okay so let's just go for my center line center line is just a line which is a dotted one which is further used for some references so that like for example if i want to create a thing which is uh, which is cocentric and then it will be acting as my axis after that let's go for rectangles when you hit this button you will see there are different different types of rectangles available to us first one is corner rectangle then in this corner rectangle you will see on this uh, dialog box there are two points shown one and two that means we have to give two points with the two different clicks first will represent this area and second will be the opposite corner diagonally so this is my first point and this is my second point that means if you click here if you go horizontal hor horizontally then it will decide its width and its height will be vertically now you will see there is x and y coordinates one 124.33 and y is 46.2 so this is how you can control its coordinates x and y x and y for each point so now the second one the second one says that center rectangle when there is a situation that you 
have to draw a rectangle but you only have two parameters of it one its center and one its corner so for uh, for instance this is my center point and this is my corner point accordingly you can draw your rectangle so I'm just escaping out and I'm deleting this now the next type of rectangle is three point corner rectangle that means you have to define its three corners then you can draw it you can draw like this you have to give three points now three point set center rectangle now you have to give three points but one point of out of them will be its center point so let's just say I am taking this one center point and my one quadrant point and one corner point so this is how to draw it now if you have to create a parallelogram then you can draw by giving it three corner points whichever way you want to create you can create it so this is my all about rectangle now let's just move to circle so in circle there are two types circle and perimeter circle so in circle I am just I have to just give its center and its radius just like that after that if you have to create a perimeter then you have to give three points at its perimeter which side you want to give it's up to you according to your information which you have to draw a circle like this so whichever is convenient to you you can choose it from now let's go for arcs there are three types of arc available to us when you when you go for a arc uh, then the first one is my center point arc that means you have to give a center point start point and its finish point let's repeat it again it's let's go for center point start point and its finish point you can control it for different different coordinate systems also its radius each and everything you can control it so let's go for for, a, for instance I am having a line and I want to draw a arc which is tangent to this line at that time we will go for a tangent arc so so to create that you first select an endpoint or entity on which you want to create a tangent arc you will see there is a tangent sign which shows that this arc is tangent to this particular line otherwise if you have to uh, create a tangent arc which is tangent to a line then there is a trick on SOLIDWORKS also so let's go for uh, line tool you give first point second point and now you hit enter through your keyboard and then there will be a yellow circular sign which shows that now you are in arc mode and tangent arc will be drawn so this is a small trick just just to repeat this once again just again line and after giving the second point you hit a from your keyboard and now you are in a arc mode so you are technically not switching to arc tool but you are drawing a arc this is a small trick okay so that's about arc and there is the one more arc three point arc in which you have to give three points of a arc once again its start point its end point and it's a uh, point on a periphery so that you can control its radius just like that after that there are some particular tools we call them as floats for example float is like giving two center points here and just like that the center straight slot is like giving a center point and just like that a center point and a point of the other circle after that the third one is taking three points which is not straight or you can even go like 
this way the last one is sorry the last one is just like that now this center point in plays an important role it is offset after that let's just select them all and delete after that there is one thing we call as spline that means smooth polyline the property of this spline is that it always maintains a tangency from its previous point that's why it's changed its shape according to the coming point so this is my spline it is it never have a vertex or corner into it after that now there is one we call them as polygon so when you go for polygon then there are some options here first one number of sides how many number of sides you can you want to give so for your information in solidworks you can give up to 40 number of side maximum not more than that but in uh, i guess in autocad you can give 1042 so this uh, about the different different software they have their constraint so now the important points are that there are two options what type of polygon you want to draw inscribed in a circle or circumscribed in a circle so first just go with inscribed circle so you are giving number of side for example six and then you first click at some point you click at some point just to define the center of the circle and the moment you go out you will get a bigger size I'm just giving like that then you will see there is a circle which is inscribed to this polygon now I'm changing this the same one as circumscribed now my circle is out here so that's the main difference while you design nut and bold then this inscribed and circumscribed plays an important role in designing a polygon so that's how we have to draw a polygon so friend that's it for today in this video we are rounding up in these topics in the coming videos we will cover up the rest of the sketch tools and in the more coming videos we will cover up the entire course so if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe my channel so that you can watch the entire tutorial series and the, uh, the best part is that if you need a particular video on particular topic then you can drop down your queries in the uh, into the comment section so that i can see and i will be coming up with a video for that so that's it for today this is jagbir singh signing off jai jai bharat jai india